right this is where we've got to with everything everything's stripped down now as you can see various boards button clippies microphones bit of a mess but I know where everything is because I uh, studied the uh, video but here we go here's the repaired clip I made that I did actually stuck uh, if you can just see inside there I put first of all I stuck it some tape so it was uh, held together with tape then I dropped in a couple of little bits of uh, super super glue and held it in place and then once that was dried let that settle um, because I didn't want to get in the way of any mechanisms I then dropped in a couple of little dabs of hot glue if you can just see it there just to give it a bit of springiness and a bit of support and actually it seemed to work quite well actually so that would be good as, as a repair if it hadn't for the fact I ended up finding one online which I mentioned earlier about the size of it in the box um, I would have just used that I mean I'm, I'm going to keep it as a spare because for the price of postage being 18 quid <laughs> which I've now fitted in here nicely I wanted to leave it like this you could just it li literally just slides into if you can see there there's two little slits look at it's like a little holding area and you just click it into place and pop there you go it's the new button installed oops don't want anything to fall out so now we're gonna put the thing back together there was a few things you probably didn't need to take out actually i haven't in hindsight of uh looking at it and actually then getting the piece out itself the actual little clip mechanism i found that probably most definitely <laughs> we could have left quite a few things in place yeah, in hindsight um looking at it afterwards we could have left probably quite a few things in place whoops yeah looking at it in hindsight had to drop this uh, video stopped for a second there sorry right start again. in hindsight looking at the how we how i actually ended up getting that out i could have probably have left quite a few gubbings inside and just managed to get a, there's a little space here that if you use this little tool that i've got it's like a little screwdriver but it's plastic you can get in here and just clip the side out then this whole switch just pops out as a hole oops he says pops out as a hole there's just two little side clips on the side i don't know if you can see them yeah you can just about see them two little side clips just here and that's either side and you just clip you know you can see how they're in it's like they're slanted from the top so you put a bit of pressure on from the sides and that just pops out this way towards you so you just pull just pull it off pop or you can probably even pull it up this way but then you're going to break the button if you do that but the button's already broken yeah, it doesn't matter because that's what this was just broken so i didn't mind if i trashed this so i just pulled it out like this but i have to say it has super glued quite well and a little bit of hot glue it's doing a good job keeping it quite springy but yet you know you know like super glue as long as it's just about to see where i glued it kept all the glue on the other side because obviously this has to sit flush and it pokes out a little bit so you've also got to be careful with that when you're gluing it back together by the way <laughs> um but anyway we we'll just get back to putting this back together <clears throat> like i said a few things you didn't need to take out didn't really need to take these clips off so i'm going to put all this clip stuffs back in i'm going to show you how i put the board right in now and some little uh, brackets that hold everything in place that also need to go slotting back in which don't need to come out when you're stripping it down for the first time i will put a comment in the strip down video that watch the put together video so you can get a few tips on what you don't need to take out in my strip down video or maybe in the strip down video i'll put some notes like you don't need to take any of this out so um skip ahead if you feel like it but this board doesn't have to come out respectably even though maybe because the button micro switch is on the side there 
the micro switch is there on the side of the circuit board um, so whether that gets in the way when you pull it out I don't know because the like I say the switch is broken so. um, you don't need to take out the microphone inputs that won't need to come out I'll show you when I put it all back together now okay so let's just quickly do that then I'm going to fix this camera up somewhere he says all right fix the camera up now hopefully we're zoomed in enough I'm just going to do a few simple things um, put these little clicky things back into place for a start because these don't need to be out at all we've got little grooves inside here where the brackets go in you'll see them click in if you just click into place like that this one's got the brackets attached to it because one of them was a bit bent this one goes back here see that click into place this other one it's not going to work with that bracket on there Whee. it's a spring going flying that back screw This clicks back in here. You feel it? Click there. Get it over the bracket. Uh, sorry, brackets. Not what do you call it? Indent. Like two little indents on the side there. Where these little thingies slide into. Just about see them. You'll know it when you've got it in your hand. You go oh, when you're taking it apart. You'll notice it. So when you put it back together, it has to fit in the same space. Ah. I never said it was easy. Bearing in mind this is also the first one I've taken apart. I only have one. I've only broken one button. Oh, there we go okay a bit fiddly so you have to fiddle with it i mean if you're brave enough to take your system apart i'm sure you know how to fiddle with a few fiddly parts and screw it back together and if not don't take it apart <laughs> don't take these off they don't need to come off that's just me being over jealous taking it i think oh maybe that needs to come out to get the mics out blah 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 I did get a doesn't screw doesn't feel like it's screwing very well. Okay. So that's not flat. Now let me just put this other side in, the other side's easy easier perhaps don't know why that is only because i tried putting it back together earlier i thought well I should have filmed that for you guys to look at i think this is the bracket from the other side as well yeah it's only supposed to be uh, to protect the mics when you drop if you drop it or knocking it around or when it's being moved about or something these task cam technicians well it depends I mean let's face it even though you might be a technician at task cam by example how many people send their items to get repaired don't know maybe you've never even seen one before you know you just follow them use a strip down manual there you go See, that one's sitting nicely. Let's see if this one will sit down nicely. And see, that doesn't feel nice. If it's like I say, don't force it. If it doesn't feel right, it's because it's not right. And then that looks a little bit better. That feels good. Yeah, there you go. See, if it doesn't feel right, it's because it's not right. Take it off. Have a look at it. Take it back and screw it back there you go that's that these parts are held in by the um, front cover I'll show you so it's got 
two little side parts here that that locks into place with this is all back together it's obviously needs to be lined up as well and that's going to be fun getting them in there it's funny it's got two screw holes what are they for I think that's for the microphone actually Anyway, okay. Side clips need to go back in. These are for holding screws like that. So you go, okay, which way does that go in? Oh, it's obviously going to go this side because it's got two screws for this side. This is missing a bit of plastic actually. It's going to drop into a slot there in the side somewhere, maybe. Let's have a look. I oh know that's going to go the other way around, so it's got to be the side then. Excuse me. Yeah, there you go. Same for the other side. There's two caps there, so it's got to go in this way, that way. You need these in because <coughs> this is what this thing attaches to, which is also something you've got to put in before you put uh, the battery in the in the back brace in you need to get this into place actually this doesn't so I mean all this doesn't actually need to come out so what I would say to you because look let's face it I don't that just came apart because I thought oh maybe that's attached to this blah 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 I thought I was going to make it easy for myself up until the point that I realized that this didn't come out until that came out <laughs> so that wasn't you know wasn't no point taking that apart it has two little small screws that go in there somewhere not make sure the holes are lined up because this is attached to this okay so that's been microphones remote XLR micings remember to attach the ribbon he says to himself okay next side bracket which one is this I think this big one goes on the top left hand side Maybe that way. Yeah, that way. One goes in there. It's going to go in here somehow. slides into there cool all right next thing you would have your make sure your battery's in there battery your power button sorry now what I found like I said when I was trying to take this out I was trying to pull it out from the right hand side saying it was getting stuck etc etc it's actually getting stuck under here there's a little side clippy thing it needs to clip underneath this so actually the way to get it in and out is to put it in this way so you put it left hand side down and then it just drops into place nicely see and no messing around and there are some screws to screw this down they're from the other side it's from the top it's the microphone connects to the main board and we have another ribbon here I would do also this battery box to put this back in is to get it out all you do is compress the spring inside here it's inside here just compress the spring and then it flips out that hole but actually in hindsight this also doesn't need to come out <laughs> so you can leave this in place I'm going to slick that back in now and I'm going to do that by kind of the reverse way I put, took it out which was get two get 
two springs lined up. And I'm going to need to click them in the sides. One there. Compress that spring. Click that in there. Oops. Oops. Do the same thing there on the other side. Make sure they're pushed into their little housing clips. You've got everything here that holds it in place. You do have to take this out, which is the microphone uh, stand clip. Otherwise, the battery box itself don't come out. And you've got three small screws to hold the battery box in. It is the auxiliary battery, by the way, because this comes with two batteries. You can put alkalines or NICADs in here, and it comes with a rechargeable one also which is out of shot at the moment, but you'll see that go in at some point. That's what I liked about the DR100 Mark One when it came out. Had that uh, extra battery. I thought, oh, that's handy if you're out and about. Your batteries are running out. Actually, the battery on this lasts quite a few hours. So I've never had that, fortunately. And then your fuel trips. It clicks in there. He's down there. It's also part of the battery box sits underneath this, so that's why you need to take this out. I thought you could leave that in, but actually no, that has to come out. And our DOS. Alright, let's check these are nicely in place. This is the side we pulled out. No, actually it's not, this is the side we pulled out. No, that side we pulled out. <laughs> See, that uh, must be alright then, because it looks like they're both in the right place. Cool. Now, there's something somewhere. It should hold this down. Okay, there we go, that's that part sorted out. Also, microphones could go back in. Um, I'm gonna make sure I don't need to screw anything down here first in here, so that's this part of the construction. This is for that little switch, little black one. Little black screw for that. It's a spare button. Right, looks like something that's falling out, a bit of plastic's broken, that's the trouble sometimes after a certain amount of years plastic gets brittle and I noticed that there was a little bit broken off of here, it was only originally it was just one little corner but then through deconstructing it I must have loosened a little bit that was being held by the screw here and that fell apart as well so I'm probably going to have an empty screw hole there, it's not holding anything other than the front cover so maybe the front cover will go in there and I'll screw it in there. It's making sure these are lined up actually. Okay, good start. <coughs> okay, right. Having gone away and studied some paperwork, something I downloaded from uh, Tascam actually is a exploded view. So it shows me where certain parts go. So these are the screws here different size screws so i just wanted to check which size screws go in certain places now all the pink ones if you can see that these are all long silver screws and all the silver uh, yellow highlighted ones for the small screws and then the pink ones are the bigger screws i don't know if you can see that 
We've got two sizes here and then we've got some black screws. There's a couple of long ones and some small ones. These are for the outside though, it's for the case. Six for the sides and two for the bottom. And there's a couple of other little screws here and there that go into place. Like one up here, it's a small black one, which is this one. And then one down here, where's the button gone? Yeah, over here. It's another little screw and that's for this thing. But anyway, that's handy. You can download that from Tascam website. It's a PDF, but I just printed off a few pages. So I didn't print out the whole menu. How to take certain things off. So if you were removing the dial, how to remove the jog dial, how to make sure you put it back properly. It's also some notes on how to remove the case and put the little rubber bits back, how to remove the ribbons, removing the flat cables, and how to attach and remove the XLR from the bottom. It says PCB XLR cannot be attached or removed unless this particular bit the AA battery case and the bottom is removed. <laughs> but I know that because we demolished it. Anyway, that is available. It's very handy. Let's see, zoom in. Anyway, right, since one of the small screws are here, so we've got a small screw here. There's a screw that's got to go long screws at the back. This is to hold the battery bit in place. I have to replace these with long screws because I think I've put two short screws in there. So I'm going to have a quick look at one of them. Because I've got two long screws here. Well, I had two long screws there. Two long screws. Uh, I think these are short screws. Yeah, short screws go elsewhere. Long screws go in there according to that. Is that right? La la la. Yeah, according to my you see here, eighty one. Eighty eighty ones. long screws so I do have two spare ones yeah mm -hmm. it's quite helpful actually that little sheet I could have been nice to have found it before I took it apart <laughs> I found that after I took it apart thinking okay where can I find some parts and that happened to pop up but I let me see a service list right <coughs> Now comes the fun part, putting the other boards in now, from what I remember. This one goes in next. Three screws. One, two, three. Now the... This also goes on here. I wonder if that can go on. No, it's got to go on afterwards. I have to take it off first. Now this one goes in. the ribbon and the connector for the uh, box. Yeah, uh, oh. let's get this out of the way some sort of top of my toolbox With this, there's a little here, it's a little clip. It's got to make sure that points on there. It's a little washer, which is on this side. Let's tighten this up, make sure it's nice and tight. I'm not sure if I have to put cable on first. Don't think so, because I took the cable out afterwards. 
I want to make sure this is tight because you can't tighten this once it's inside. Yeah, so that's fair enough. Is that going to be able to go in there? No, no. no let's try and put this in first to see what happens. Ribbon goes through here. This cable. It's got to be out of the way. Come up through there. This has to be open as well, by the way. Because I noticed those, uh, it gets in the way otherwise you can't close it. You can't get the thing in properly. I'm going to try and put it in this way first. See, it falls down, but if the door's closed, it doesn't go down. It's nice and easy. Comes up through there. It should click into there. Might be able to put that in first before we put the thingy in, but yeah, just clicks in anyway. Let's push that in. Click, click. That looks okay. screws here also short these are short screws that go in there Actually, what I was going to do was put the uh, microphones in first. <coughs> but, That one didn't really feel like it was going in very tight. You come through here, you see. Okay, let's just try it. Bye -bye. Mm. In there. Handy, this little magnet magnetic screwdriver let's try that again it didn't feel very uh, fastening which means it's not like it's going to fall apart it's, it's, it's quite loose as long as it doesn't fall out which it does fall out <coughs> with that being the case i'll try one more screw and if it does fall out again i'm going to leave it out because i don't want it falling out inside it's not really doing much be honest. Mm. It doesn't feel exceptionally tight. Feels okay. Probably because it's plastic and it's screwing onto there. You could probably put some uh, Loctite or something in it. But, uh, but, you know, is it going to fall out? Mm. You could probably even drop a bit of glue in there. That seems okay. Let's stick these microphones in. In the manual strip down thing it shows you that these screws on the microphones point inwards so I'm gonna do that now if you can see that's got a little black screw there that points on the inside so that then point up here 
So bring in the cables to the inside as well then. This one, black screw. You can see the cable comes out that side. Black screw to the inside. Tick. So I mean, this stuff doesn't really even need to come out. To be honest, you can leave these microphones in, these brackets in. Um, just like I said, this has to come out. Not even. Should, uh, and you can get to see there's the battery thing there. Power button, I should say. So when it starts getting interesting now, because this is the easy bit. Okay. Okay. And I did notice is that all the cables come out here. Let me put the top on. Or you put these in separately. recess in there yeah look see there's a little recess in there two little lines so both sides yeah so I think you have to establish which is zero so I'm guessing go around there is zero Bring it up to 10 yeah so there we go Make sure it's turned fully to the left. Make sure then zero is at the top. So I'm right in thinking that's where it's measured. Input left and right. Yeah, so it's measured from the top. So imagine fully down, fully up. Goes okay. Same with this, you can also just tell if you've got it right, because this will, in the middle, also be zero. Make sure it's fully turned to the right, to the left, sorry. Gives us our two. Zero. Zero, perfect. Next. The screw this thing now which way does that go on that way or that way not even sure what that's for what is that for hmm, can't see Don't you know? Doesn't appear to be anything. Screw for something. Maybe it's for the latch. It's going to go that way round. Oh, that's a latch. Look. So in there, making sure the arrow's down. There should also be a spring which goes on the top. And then this small black screw. Now 
remember if you don't force it, you screw it down nicely. Not going to be too tight because it's just a spring. And screw it tight for it butt down because it's plastic. Okay, it's as much as it's going to go. battery nice and easy fun bit is going to attach all these there we go two and two now I'm guessing we've got two here for one set of microphones and infrared control so that's the infrared that's that's a speaker actually it's not microphone it's just that's the speaker which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't <coughs> another story right do we put this one on first or do we stick the back on do you need to back off or anything else i took the back and the front off first but uh, this would just mean a question of getting the buttons in place Not there. Buttons on this side. Ah, stay. Buttons over this side. We've got four of these. I wonder if these go in this side like this, where they're going to fall out. Yeah, nice. So, where do they go on the board here? Yeah. Little indents. One, two, oops. I don't know if you can see that. <coughs> here, there's little dots. Yeah. And then you place that on the dot. Same within here, there's little sliders. Make sure they're on the slider and make sure you can operate the switch. Otherwise you'll have it on the wrong side. So, actually that one's not working. That one seems to be in the right place. Rubber, 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 rubber. So you've got two long screws go here. You've got one short screw this side and one short screw there. So let's put the long ones in. Long black ones, that is. So these are two different sizes. does have to come off because if well if you're not taking the battery box out then this back none of this has to come off and I don't think that's where that as really it didn't need to come out you could probably leave the back on I reckon I could leave the back on and get that switch out then not to tight these too tight because it's raised why is that raised let me just check. I'm sure they're long. Um, GA86. We've got two times 86. 86 are oh, eights. Long black thin two. It does say long black ones. I do remember putting long black ones in there. I wonder why that feels like it's. Is that in the right place? Oh, 
Das war okay. Ich so that's just raised. That's the job I have. What's that button into? I don't think it's going into anything either. Shut them. Yeah, it's not going to go into anything. All oh, right, it's probably just lining up with that frame underneath. Okay. Give that a wiggle then. Gotta make sure it wasn't going into a circuit board or something by accident. So that's basically screwing into the two little metal plates that we put in here. So it's this one. <coughs> These two plates from underneath, I wanted to make sure that screw wasn't going into a circuit board or anything, but it just comes up through there, just like that one. And put two small side ones in. You're lining this up with the bracket. Not going to over tighten them. You can see that. Right, so yeah, I'm guessing I could take all of this off. You just get the potential meter box out. Recording, switch out, battery clip out. You can leave this in, you can leave that battery back in. You can probably leave all the back on there. Is it all working? Yeah, on, off. Limiter on off. Okay, that all looks good. <coughs> Battery back up. You've got two batteries. So you have the uh, lith neon or whatever it is, uh, NICAD. Lion, yeah. Lithium ion battery goes in. I'm not going to put that in. It's going to put power to the system, which we don't want. Right, next. It's going to be fun because the power button has to go in. That other switch has to go on. This has to go into place. That's a selection for the recording. So we've still got a small couple of small screws left. Black one is for the board. That one also. Okay, next. This thing. This is the tricky one, from what I remember, because we've got to get that into place. Got this button to get into place. This button to get into place. That can put on afterwards, it's okay. Ribbon for the top can go in afterwards. Get these things on. Let's have a look which way round do they go? Well, they've got a different shape, so they can only go in one way. <laughs> he says, like, it's going to be the easiest thing in the world to do. Click. 
actually a bit black. Right, yeah. Black is on that corner, do you think it goes upside down like that? Yeah, there we go. Click. Click. Okay. Tricky one's going to be getting that in there. <coughs> ways on and off that's lock isn't it hold let's have a look have a look that's going to be fun because you have to have the ribbons on to do that Hold and speed up away, lock that away. Okay, let's get these ribbons on first then, because it's going to be fun. This has to go on as well. So some ribbon slides under here. that goes there, it's two microphone holes, and the screws down to there, so that's going to go on last, that's going to have to go in, so ribbon goes in, locks down, okay, And the tricky thing is then you have to get these two cables around the back of the ribbon like so and these go in here pin two pin okay that's two pin if I remember correctly that just goes in the goes on the right hand side like that and click this one on this side like three hands what do you think that ribbon could go in afterwards and we're gonna have fun getting to that put these in like this largely now I think you can probably pop that ribbon afterwards just get it through the cables so I'll loosen that ribbon for a second. Do it this way so we can get our cables in. I think it's going to be easier. at the top which will make it like that way look so yeah put cables in bring the ribbon round
<laughs> he says that'll be easier. <clears throat> Tricky. Slide. Remember, if you feel like you're forcing it, don't. bring it up to the line there's a black line there close it now next one it's going to be a bit more trickier to get in that belongs down here <coughs> okay no wonder I weren't getting in right looking at the, the video of the me taking it apart it looks like the cable goes in a different way yeah it looks like the cable comes in from the top side not, I'm trying to get it in underneath but actually it goes in here like that and then locks down so it goes in here He says, Come on. Okay, it's in. Oh. Lock it down. Okay. Straight enough. I couldn't go in anymore. Just unlock it a second. It didn't, wasn't happy with the way it was sitting. Ah, oh, you can see that actually where it was sitting. So. Gotta be careful with these ribbon cables, man. There we go. Okay, it's locked off now. Let's have a look if it's on a black mark. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little black mark in there. It sits on the black mark. Okay, that's that's. Hmm. Okay, when you do it the right way, it's not too bad. <coughs> Now you need to get this switch in before we push the rest of this in. Make sure our other cables are still stuck in. Yeah, microphone cables are still in. That's underneath there correctly. This button goes left and right, so I'm guessing, oops. in this way <laughs> he says 
says there's something something up and down there and if you take this off there's little clips that hold this into place so I can see it from underneath what's stopping that from going down Cable management or something else. It's just cable management. So you just have to make, try and get it over. It's my little pokey on. <coughs> it's just getting the board over this little clip part here and then getting your button in. And it screws into place like that. See, you want to make sure that it's on hold. So the red dot to the inside. Got some screws, the black one goes in this top left hand corner. <laughs> Why does it look like I've got spare screws, man? One, two, three. Oh, no, I don't. If you've got something, my uh, hold this thingy down. Says wiggling it around. I thought there's a black screw in there, took. A black screw in there. Mm, I think it's a question of lining it up properly, so I would uh, loosen this a tiny bit. Just gives this plate a little bit of play. Gotta go into there. We go, put that in a little loosely because we've got to get these other screws in. Side. I'll drop that in there. <laughs> Over here. And there's one up here. place and then tighten them up that way you know it's all lined up properly and then I'm gonna go back and tighten this one up again just because I know that's in the right place now okay cool these 
microphone then cables cables line up these brackets as well you see what you don't want is your cables being pinched like that so give yourself some cable management So trying to line up these <coughs> little holes with these little gaps, little uh, indents on the brackets, and then again making sure there's no cable underneath it. Get a rough idea because I'll get the top one in, I'd guess, it's going to be the most oops, efficient. He says. pretty good nothing in the way there make sure it's sitting nicely in place which looks looks good on this side Bow. so it's just a question of wiggling it around a bit and you've got two small screws again silver ones oh, that's all we've got left and we've got some black ones but that's on the side on there and hold this in place still They would be long ones, but they're not. Looks like it's all sitting nicely. Yep. Okay, was not under any pressure. Just making sure it's not. Does look like it's caught underneath now. As I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I'd like to make sure you put it back properly, that way you don't have any problems. There you go, it's nice and clear now. The cable's clear, it's not caught underneath anything either. Okay, next thing is buttons to put back on. And also to make sure you put the little funny sensor back in place. So the infrared remote control, whoops, just sits there. You could glue it, but there's probably no point button sits here and the uh, selection button that's the select resource I'm going to give the screen a little quick clean one second So 
isopropane. Just a tiny bit. My little cloth. Otherwise you can have a load of smeary finger marks under here. going to get rid of them because it's going to be underneath the screen. Look. Next thing is the actual screen to go on. This actually goes on last. Make sure the screen's clean underneath. bubbles you can see there from the screen protector that's been on there since I've had it and actually just looking into when I got this it was in 2010 or something ridiculous like that 210 or 11 when it first came out because it did do a quick switch it changed the model a little bit and they, they just replaced the XLR different XLRs and I think that was the only difference I could notice this should go on Power switch, uh, selection switch. You've got to make sure, indeed, like the reds at the top, so you have that little indicator. I could clean it while I was there. It's a bit dusty. And also, there was a note. On, oops, there was a note on the system to be lining this up correctly as well. I'm sure, it's easy enough. All right, should we try again? Make sure you get it on the pin. Make sure you can test it. Stick it in the middle. I'm going to get these little brackets in the corners over the thingy. Same for this side. Okay, what's going on? There's something lagging. I think that's the switch. Aha, click, click, click. Clicks are always good. Right, these are all in place. Screws and lined. See, that's where that one's missing. Right, let's try sticking these screws in. <coughs> Didn't be too hard. Just can't see them because they're black. Ah, I actually got them with one thread in my finger. Right, remember, don't put them all in too tight. Just put them in so they hold it into place. This isn't going to screw into much, but it will still hold the frame to the inner frame. Okay. Let's try it like this. <laughs> uh, you can tell I don't do this every day. I've taken a few things apart and repaired them. Well, as a kid, I used to repair everything. Tell you stopped working. Okay, let me pull it apart. Fridge. <laughs> Washing machine stopped working. Okay, let me pull it apart. As a kid, man, I used to love pulling things apart like that. How does that work? Is it going to work when I put it back together? These are not different sizes, are they? No. Shouldn't be. In the manual, it says they're all the same size. Only two different ones is the ones that goes in the back. going in yeah. okay now they're all in <clears throat> so when you tighten them up then you know it's all in the right place I 
over tightening but these do go into metal so it's a bit different right, that's tight that's tight See, when I took this apart, I wasn't sure how you could access the actual uh, main boards. Normally, you go through the back. That's why I had all the back out. But in hindsight, you don't need to remove any of this. You can leave all this back intact. You can leave the microphones intact. You can leave the XLR bits intact. It's got a little doodah in there. Now, this says you have to line it up in a specific way. Because there's four points on here. special going on so yeah four points look one two three four where are they on here the ones here there. click click yeah it says it says when you take it apart it says uh, <laughs> I didn't know that I thought it was just gonna come out but when I took the top off it popped off anyway but it does say stick tape to it and pull it off okay man shall we see if this thing works a big reveal put the memory card in there stick the battery back in there way around I see that was holds that in place Let's have a look then, it's going to switch on or not. Portable digital recorder. Woohoo! Okay. So it's got the headphones selected. Different. See if, got any, see if it still works. Information. System version 1.10. See, batteries. Shows you the alkaline. I put two uh, spare batteries in here. That then shows you battery levels. Anyone who's got one of these and is taking it apart, you should know. Put select. Monitor off menu, it's balance, monitor off. So if you go into record settings, you need to turn the monitor on somewhere. Pre-record on, size 2 gigs, 44k, 24 bit. Okay, it's going to put settings on the monitor on. See so if you switch, ah, go across, switch monitor on. And when you go into menu, you can then go mix balance. See, line it generally turn monitor off and put settings across monitor off main menu play mode P off playlists. I've never used any of these functions. Browse, there you go. Should we see if it plays anything? So I was saying about speaker, I never could get it to work. Oh, it's playing the file. No, oh, there we go. It seems to be okay. I'll check it. I'll obviously need to check the inputs. See if it's still uh, receiving. Oh, I can do it like this. Hang on. Let's go into browse. Quick. Browse. Whoops. Menu. Browse, you have to go enter to go back one, you push it back. It's going to DR 103, select, select record. So, what is it? XLR, I can't check. Omnis, it's these things. Okay, uh, unis, 
left, right, but mic seem to work. And the lines line, obviously not going to get anything there. Next, I'll have to test separately, but how many seem to work? Let's see, right. Thing is, you tap the body anywhere, so that's what I don't like about these microphones. It almost acts, acts like a the, the whole the whole body turns into a microphone and it picks up all kinds of noise. Same with Phil, I noticed with the uh, unis, unidirectionals. Not bad, but look. Picks it all up. Anyway, that seems to work. Cool, thanks. Hope that's useful for you. Hope that you got some value from this. I couldn't find anything online. Basically, the power button. See, should we see if our power button switches off now? God, look at that. It's even got, I did notice at one point the click had gone. Need a click? because it's solid it feels solid now before it felt a bit I don't know I thought it was a bit funny anyway there we go power button nicely repaired thank you very much hope that was useful to you hope it's value I would say <clears throat> in hindsight make sure you check this video out because there are, like I say there are a lot of things you don't probably don't need to remove to get that out now um, but I'd stripped it all apart so hey I know what it's like to put in and out it's not that bad it's not too bad at all might gain should we switch to check if they work? Well off, switch it back on. Because you also notice that. Switch the limiter off, because that's what you get. Speakers on, low mic. Put it on Omnis, select that. Yeah, see, it doesn't magnify so good. Let's just put it onto medium, see if the mic's working. Yeah, high. Yeah, well, we know that works, that's what it's on. Okay, brilliant, I'm happy. Magic, there we go, sorted. All ready for the next session. <laughs> okay, so thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, enjoyable or not, hope that was useful for you. I'm going to replace this lovely little button, which I've got a spare for now, which is actually still quite solid. Anyway, cheers.